All right, in this video, we're going to do an example of finding a missing angle and a missing side length. So suppose we've got our triangle here. We know that angle A measures 40 degrees. Uh, little a has length 6. Uh, little length C over here uh, is length 8. We don't know angle C. We don't know angle B. And we don't know the side length for little b. Uh, what we're going to do is find uh, side length B and angle B. But actually, by default, we're going to have to find angle C as well. So really, we're going to figure out um, sort of all the angles and the side lengths in this example. So I think what I'm going to do is just sort of resketch this, uh, resketch this, and fill in some of the values that we know. So let's see, angle A, that was 40 degrees. Uh, little a, that was given to us as uh, a length of 6. Uh, side length C, we said that's 8, so obviously not quite to scale here. Um, and I think that's pretty much all that we're given. So we don't know angle B, we don't know angle C, and we don't know little b. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use the law of sines to figure out angle C. From that, uh, since we know all the angles add up to 180, I'll, I'll be able to find the value for angle B. And then, again, I'll be able to use the law of sines and figure out the value for little b. Okay, so I'm going to take a sine of 40 degrees over 6. That would equal sine of c, which we don't know, over 8. All right, well, what I'm going to do is simply uh, multiply here both sides by 8. So we'll get 8 over 6, or 4 over 3. Uh, sine of 40 degrees equals sine of C. So let's see, uh, sine of 40 degrees, so let's see, sine of 40 degrees, I'm going to round that off and make that 0.643. Okay, so 0.643, if we multiply that by 4 and then divide that by 3, do this one more time, 0.643 times 4 divided by 3. Um, I'm going to round this off here a little bit. I'm getting 4 thirds uh, times 0.643. I'm getting this to be roughly 0.857. So that's going to be sine of C. And now simply to solve for C, we'll just take inverse sine of both sides. And that'll just leave me with my angle C. So let's see, 0 0.857. If we do inverse sine of that, um, I'm getting angle C to be roughly equal to 58.98 degrees. And I think I'm simply going to go ahead and round that off to, we'll say that's uh, 60 degrees in this case. OK, so well, that's nice. We now know that angle C is uh, 60 degrees. Well, since all the angles add up to 180, uh, 60 plus 40 would be 110, excuse me, would just be 100. Um, so 40 and 60 is 100. So that means by default, angle B would have to have a value of 80 degrees. So now they all add up to 180. And again, now we can just use the law of sines to figure out our missing length here for, for, uh, for B. So we can say uh, our side length B over sine of 80 degrees. And now it doesn't matter which side and which angle we use. So let's see, little b over sine 80, we'll say that equals our side length of 6 over sine of 40 degrees. And now simply all we have to do is solve for b. Um, we could multiply both sides by sine of 80 degrees. So we would get 6 over sine of 40 degrees times sine of 80 degrees. And now it's just a matter of uh, plugging this into the good old calculator. So we would have 6 over, we already said sine of 40 degrees. Uh, we said sine of 40 degrees was 0.643, so I'll make use of that. Let's see, sine of 80 degrees. So I'm getting that to be approximately 0 0.98, uh, after rounding 0 0.985. So I'm going to take 0 0.985, I'll multiply that by 6, I'll divide that by 0 
3. And I'm getting our side length B here to be 9.19 uh, after rounding. So now we know all the angles and we know all the lengths. Again, all you're really doing is just repeatedly using uh, the law of signs to figure out uh, the values that you're missing in this case.